My name is Illyria. Um, I am 28 years old. I live in Knoxville, Tennessee, and I am an internationally award-winning dance trapeze artist. I was never really in shape. Um, I had heart problems growing up as a kid, and when I got to college, I really wanted a way to stay in shape. I hated the gym, didn't like any sports. Uh, I was a musician, so I tried some dance classes and I just didn't really fit in. Um, and I was in my dorm one day and looking through videos on YouTube and I saw this Cirque du Soleil artist and I thought, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and I want to do that. And so I did. The most challenging thing is also the most fun thing. Um, and it's really the, any learning material and this equipment really is just hard to come by. So figuring out any of it is like a puzzle. You might see a shape somewhere on the internet. There's no way you can learn it. Um, but you're like, how do I get there? And then how do I get out of it? And then how do I make that look like it's not giving me rope burn in my armpits so that it's interesting to watch? <laughs> So just even finding something to do and then making it look smooth and interesting to watch is probably the hardest thing and what I have the most fun with too. I am so scared of heights. When I get on the ladder, I try to not let anybody see that I'm scared to climb up there and rig my equipment. <laughs> but when I'm on the trapeze, I feel okay. It's, I, I don't know, I guess most of the time it's wrapped around me, so I'm not so scared, or I at least, uh, I guess I'm just more focused on what I'm doing and more comfortable there um, and not really thinking about falling. I'm never scared that I'm going to fall. I've only fallen probably just a handful of times and it was because I was trying something new and being stupid. I think that in any artsy community, there's always some sense of rivalry or superiority that you're going to get. Um, but for the most part, and especially in competitions, there's just like an overwhelming feeling of support from everybody. A uh, nationals competition I did in Utah, there was a girl on stage doing a really difficult piece, and you could see her start to shake and she had to come out of this trick and she just looked disappointed and it threw off her choreography and the music and everything and she attempted it a second time and she was really struggling and you could see her shaking and that audience just roared until she got there and it was the coolest thing it just like gave me chills it makes me want to cry every time i think about it a lot of the time i'll have some idea, like I did the Scarlet Witch piece and I was like, well, I'm gonna be the Scarlet Witch just because that looks cool. And how would that fit into a piece? And, you know, I, I found the song called The Red, which Scarlet Witch Red is lame, but <laughs> I'll just, I'll get an idea like that and just be like, oh, I've got to make that happen somehow. get back into teaching. It's really fun um, and always open for creative opportunities and shows. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If, if there's something that makes you happy and it seems really silly and really impossible, you should just try to do it. Just like make it happen because I didn't know what I was doing and I bought a secondhand stripper pole and put it in my house and taught myself things and it felt ridiculous and now I've got all these crazy awards and these crazy things in my house. I never thought I would be doing this.